So what started out as protests against a fuel tax in France has become something much bigger. People are now also you know, protesting about the idea that taxation is too high, cost of living is too high, and certain elite individuals don't pay tax in the same way that the average citizen does, which doesn't seem to make sense to the people. So when we look at it, what's starting to happen? You have the government sending out police officers saying, hey, go take care of the situation on the streets. And this has led to a number of different clashes and violent situations going on, which you know, is something that we never want to see. But we're realizing that with 81,000 people supporting this and getting behind uh, these yellow vests who are protesting every Saturday, we're starting to realize that, you know, people in general are, are fed up with the situation, which is why it's not surprising to see that the firefighters and the police started to stand in solidarity with the people. Let's have a look. <laughs> So as you can see in those videos, you saw firefighters turning their backs on the elected officials and you saw police officers removing their helmets saying, hey, we're not doing this, we're standing with the people on this one. And a new poll done by a polling company called Odoxa has found that eight in 10 people in France stand with and support what the yellow vests are doing. Now that's a pretty big thing. And when we look at it, we start to understand Again, there is a reason why people are feeling this, and, and it's not just about the taxation, it's not just about the fuel tax. When we start looking at things like, oh, hey, you know, in the European Union, this country over here spends this much in tax for fuel, and France shouldn't be complaining because it's less or more than, than this country over here, and now we're just getting into comparing who has, is the greatest victim or who has it best off, and therefore we shouldn't be talking about the situation. This is old world thinking, and these are tactics that are often used to get people to sort of just silence down, pacify, and quiet. Now what we're gonna to bring to the table here in this conversation is less about the old rhetoric that we always hear about who has it best or who has it worse, and more about the idea that people are literally just fed up with the system. They're fed up with their lives. There's a deeper push inside of them that is saying, we are capable of something much more. And this idea of debt-based banking uh, economies where we're constantly being squeezed over and over and over again, year after year, where inflation continues to strip our wealth all the time, where the fact that our systems and structures don't evolve quickly enough because they're so rigid and they're so stuck in place because we always have to keep people employed and we always need to keep the status quo okay, we're realizing that doesn't work. And we've known this for a very long time. And we've now felt the squeeze of that so much that a deeper aspect of ourselves is awakening and saying, hey, you know what? When I came here to this planet, I realized we're, we're capable of something much, much more than what we're currently doing. Not only on a physical level, am I sick of what we're doing here, but on a deeper level, I'm ready for something much more. I don't really know exactly what I'm seeking right now. And, and you know, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, but we're going through this process of saying, we wanna opt out of this system. Enough's enough. 